Hello everyone. In the last class, we have started the fourth chapter, that is the story of Grace Darling. And uh, we have already finished the first two paragraphs of this chapter. Now, I am going to proceed further. And at first, let me read out the next few paragraphs for all of you. The darlings peered into the darkness, saw people clinging to the rocks and masts. They were screaming and waving to the lighthouse for help. Grace saw the people in danger and told her father that they needed to take their own boat out and aid the drowning man. But Mr. Darling was reluctant as he feared for their own safety. He understood the implications of such a violent storm and knew that their boat would be no match for the sea. He explained to Grace that they would have to wait until morning and then get help. But Grace watched the dreadful storm with a sad hurt and could not bear standing aside doing nothing. She pleaded with her father, telling him that the man would soon grow too weak to clinch to the rocks and would be swept away by the powerful waves. Her father was an old man. He knew the force of the mighty waves. He couldn't endanger her life and was sure that they would never reach them. But Grace's determination triumphed after she convinced him that they should at least try and begged her father not to refuse. And finally, he relented. So students, this much will be enough for today. Now, let me give you a summary of these few paragraphs. So, in the last class, we have read that Grace Darling and her father, they woke up from their sleep at the, in the midnight of September 7, when they heard a loud noise from outside. And after that, they saw that... Um, ship was broken into two pieces because of the violet sea storm now grace she looked outside through the window of the light house and he, uh, she saw that the people of the boat they were holding the rocks and the masts means the tall pole of the boat or the ships in order to save themselves from drowning and grace told her father that they need to take out their own boat in order to help those poor people but mr william he was hesitating because he had a fear of their own safety he knew that their boat was not strong enough to cope with a violent sea storm and he also explained to grace that they need to wait till the morning in order to have those travelers but grace saw that the sea storm was very violent and she understood she realized that very soon the people the people will be swept away by the strong sea webs that's why she pleaded she requested her father that anyhow they had to help those travelers in order to get out of this danger in order to save their lives and grace she begged her father to help those poor people because she could not bear them bear to see them dying in this stormy sea 
but mr william he was not willing to accept his daughter's proposals but at last after seeing grace's determination her pleading her father he couldn't resist any more and at last his father her father agreed to her request students this much we have read today and we got to know that now grace made it him uh, her father to go to the deadly sea with their own boats to help the drowning people so students do you think that they will be able to save those people from drown, uh, drowning i also don't know what will happen and in order to know that what happened to those people we have to read the next few paragraphs of the story that we are going to read in the next few classes so students i hope that you have well understood the story up to this but still if you have any doubt you can clarify your doubts in the comment section now students here i have mentioned a few home uh, sorry word meanings from the previous class and they are lighthouse meaning a tower or structure containing a beacon light to warn or guide ships at night b flung move or push sharply or violently number c bang which means a sudden loud so students these are the few word meanings that i found may be difficult for all of you to understand and some of you have also commented this in the comment sections so i have mentioned this here and now again for uh, today's class we have the same task that is to find out difficult words and let me know in the comment section and today you have an another task that is it is uh, your home assignment please try to do it by yourself and i'll give the answers of the home assignment in our uh, after few days so student this much will be enough for today we shall proceed further in the next class thank you so much